Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this new video in MCP playlist series, I'm going to introduce you Gradio MCP. So now you can build your own MCP server through Gradio MCP and use that on any supported or compatible uh, MCP client or host. So let's say you have a Python logic, you know, you have logic written in Python or if you have a Python file, you know, basically you have a tool you know that you want you want to use through any mcp client you can then use gradio mcp to kind of run it on either uh, locally or you can also deploy it and then use that uh, uh, that url basically that server that you are running you know or through an mcp host or a client that's what we're going to look at in this video so if you look at here on my screen i already have a project set up that's called gradio ssc and project now i have been using uh, uv in order to kind of manage my Python project. So I'm using UV over here and it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you in the previous video or uh, within MCP playlist, we saw Docker MCP toolkit and the uh, server that we used was the system date time. So that's the same code that we have, but this time we are writing the code. So first of all, what you have to do is I am using Windsurf. The same logic works with Claude for desktop or cursor, let's say. I'm gonna give you a walkthrough. Now you can see I have a project here. Now what I did, I'll show you from top. I, of course, uh, let me create a new terminal. The first thing that you have to do is you have to, of course, do UV in it and your project name. So you can see my project name is project. So I already have that. Now once you do, do UV in it project, after that, of course, you want to create a virtual environment within that, right? Now the moment you do first UV, uh, uh, init project it's going to create some files the files are git ignore python version main.py py project 2 ml uv lock readme md these are the files that get that gets created when you do uv init project you initialize a python project which of course is really uh production level right i will say right when you you have this you know pi project.2ml good for dependencies manager and so on and so forth you have git ignore where you're going to look at your version uh, you're going to look at your uh, secrets confidentials you know uh, your libraries are not be being pushed to your version controls and whatnot so use uv uv for it i recommend it now once you do that you want to basically do uh, uv venv the moment you do uv venv it's going to create a virtual environment you can see and then you're just going to do uv add so the moment you do UV add, you can see already is showing me, suggesting me Gradio MCP. The moment you do that, it's going to add that in pyproject.2ml. So you can see my pyproject.2ml file. It has my Gradio MCP has been added as a dependency. This is my required Python version 3.13. If you are pushing it, make sure that you uh, lower this value like 3.11 or 12 or something. Right. So this is how you set up the project first. Now in the main.py, you can see I have a Gradio, so I'm a Gradio library. So I'm using input Gradio as GR, and then I'm using date time. I have a function called current date time that basically uh, looks at my current date time of my system that I'm using. Claude can't do it. If you ask what is the current time in Claude for desktop, it cannot answer it because it does not access your computer as by default. You know, it can access it, but then you have to make it accessible. Now I'm using a function that you just did time dot now and it has some kind of, of course, formatting for date time. And then I'm using gradio dot interface function, inputs, outputs, title, description, and you have to make MCP underscore server equals to true. If you do share equals to true that we used to do earlier when we used to work with gradio applications, it used to give us the link and that we used to share that link with our friends and colleagues, right? Now, here you have to do MCP underscore server equals to true, true if you want to use Gradio MCP. Of course, it's an HTTP SSC that runs on uh, through this Gradio port that we have. And that's all. You're just going to run. Uh, you're just going to do UV run main.py. So you can see it says running on local URL. Right? This is the local URL that it runs on. Right? So if you click on that, it's going to open this page. It's, you can see it says current date and time. This is the output. If you click on generate, it will do it. And then it gives you this MCP server using SSE running at this particular URL. So you can see it's nothing but the same local URL, but then it has gradio underscore API under uh, slash MCP slash SSE server side events, right? Server events that we have. And we have covered that in the uh, beginning of our 
you know uh, playlist right so if you go back here you can see it has been pinging you can see it's, it says event endpoint data gradio api mcp messages and it creates a session basically for you and it looks at the ping that you make so just like you know it's looking at all the pings now i have created a main.py and this is for getting the current date time you can change this with any logic that you want now you can use playwright you know you can use crawl for ai you can connect with your databases you know you can use brave tabli sub api blah 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 you can do everything right over here and build your own uh mcp server and you can also bring some of the security protocols right we're going to look at in this coming videos now once that is done we have to configure the uh, uh mcp config json file so if you, i'm using windsurf it's called mcp config if you are using cloud it's called cloud config json now you can see this is how we define in windsurf it's called mcp servers gradio server url this is the server url that we write that's that's how easy it is guys right now once that is done right i'll just come here and you can see i ask in my casket so right hand side i'm using a casket but first of all let me show you it says this is a casket you can find out it is open casket what is the current time and date use gradio tool i ask it to use it so you can says i will use the gradio tool to get the current time and date for you it uses this tool you can see mcp tool gradio slash predict and that's what it uses and it says the current time and date is this because i ran it a few minutes ago you can see it's like 10 minutes ago i retrieve this information using the gradio mcp tool that provides system time and date uh functionality that's how that's how easy it is guys right so i'm i'm using this and you can find out your mcp server here you can see it says gradio now if you look at here it says one available mcp server if you can also configure it if the moment you click on configure mcp config json file will get open so this is what i am currently using you can see it's pretty get the current system date and time that's what this main.py file does and this is coming from here you can see get the current system date and time that's what exactly we see here this is how easy it is now to use gradio mcp we already have fast mcp you know we already have a lot of other libraries to work with now gradio mcp is also a uh, new and new ways to kind of you know create mcp server and that you can use it use that server in compatible mcp clients like cloud windsurf cursor goose ai and so on and so forth so this is what i wanted to create in this video guys you know a very short video that how we can set up a python project through uv create an mcp server via gradio mcp and then use that gradio mcp server which is nothing but finding out the current date and time and use that through an mcp client in this case it is windsurf i'll give the code on my github repository you can just go and just try to use it and let me know what you think of gradio mcp if you have any question thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box if you like the video please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. Please share this video and channel with your friends and to peer. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.